Hey art lovers and art nerds and welcome back to the DD Mark channel. And yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like the video and notification bell and yada 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 all that good stuff. But today, I don't feel like wasting time with a goofy nonsensically long intro. I'm trying to get booty butt deep into the video topic today. So yeah, let's get hop into it. <laughs> Now, now, let's not joke with each other here. You know why you're here. You know that I know why you're here because I know you already read the title before you clicked this video. And if you didn't read the title but clicked on this video anyways, huh? Are you, are you okay? <laughs> okay, I said I wouldn't goof off, but yeah, in this video, I'm actually gonna use this platform, you know, my YouTube channel, for the reason YouTube as a whole was invented to express myself in a video format. And like I said, I know you read the title. So essentially, in this video, you get to listen to a washed up, mediocre artist complain and rant about why being an artist in this year of our Lord and Savior, Anya 2022, is absolutely stupid. Okay, so being an artist in the year 2022 is stupid. But wait, I feel there are things I should address before I go off talking about why I've so boldly, courageously, and heroically decided to take such a stance. So yeah, don't get me wrong. I love being an artist. I, I love creating and I love and I'm grateful for the people who follow me across all my social media platforms and support me in any way, shape or form. Most importantly, everything I say in this video is my opinion and from my personal experience. So although some of you will most certainly 1000% relate to me and my frustrations if you yourself are an artist, I'm not saying all artists feel this way. Again, this is just my experience and this video is me needing to rant or get stuff off of my chest. I'm sure there's a lot of other things I forgot to address before I get into this, but whatever, y'all are smart, you'll be fine. I mean, you're watching a DD Mark video, so you must be some kind of genius though, anyways. <laughs> okay, I'm dumb. Okay, so why being an artist in 2022 is dumb, in DD Mark's opinion. Okay, I'm not gonna make y'all sit through another intro title thing, but yeah, there are essentially two reasons why I hate being an artist in this day and age, and they go hand in hand with one another. And I'll go into each of them more in depth, but for now, number one is social media. <laughs> That's it. And number two, I feel like I'm barely an artist. Oh yeah, and now that I just said those two things, I just remembered something else that I should say before I move on, and it's that this video is about being an independent artist in 2022, you know, not working for a studio or company or any of that, no, no, no independent artist and more specifically you know the type of artist that uses social media frequently to further their business or whatever and yeah that being said let's get to the first reason why i hate being an artist in 2022 okay so social media you want to know what makes me want to press a piece of steel against my face and delete myself off the face of this planet Jesus <laughs> it's freaking social media as i said I love my fans, I love my followers and stuff, and I'd be freaking lying to you guys if I said I don't get dopamine hits in my brain when I open Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or whatever daily and see like plus 100 followers or plus 1000 likes. I'd be lying if I said that made me feel nothing. I mean, I'm human. Dopamine hits me just like it hits anyone else. And upon me saying social media, some of you might think, Oh damn, Diddy Mark, I know how you feel, bruh. You know what I'm saying? As an artist who's on social media myself, you see, you know, I know how it feels to see other artists doing better than you and you compare yourself and their art and then you get depressed. Da, 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 da. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I mean, although I feel that one too, but why I hate the social media aspect of being an artist nowadays is actually having to be on there. You know, like I hate having to upload. I hate that I can't deal with so many comments, likes and engagements. I hate it. And also, like recently, I just started getting hate on like Twitter and other social media from like random people and other artists. And I really just be minding my business, bro. But whatever. I mean, don't get me wrong. All the followers, growth, comments and stuff are a good problem to have. But if you're like me, who actually loves engaging with followers and helping them, it's frustrating that I can't get to everyone. And yeah, some of you might think I sound like I'm just virtue signaling or putting on a nice persona when I say I want to help everyone be the best artist they can be and stuff. But I swear I'm not, you know, I'm genuine. You know, y'all know I'm blunt as fuck. If I didn't care about you, I would, <laughs> y'all would know. But no, really, I, I genuinely want to give everyone as much attention as possible, but I can't. Cause if I did, 
I wouldn't be an artist anymore. I'd be a fucking influencer or some shit. And I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what the technical definition of a micro influencer is. I am not an influencer. The thing is, I feel to be an independent artist in 2022 who earns a living for themselves, you have to become a social media personality to an extent. And that makes me go, bruh, cause, cause this stuff is so time consuming, right? You know, like right now it feels like I'm barely actually dedicating my time to perfecting and improving my craft, which is, which is being a comic artist. You know, so if you don't know, I'm also a full-time college student and I major in biology, you know, arguably one of the hardest majors. I also have a job that I work and I also do YouTube and draw stuff for Instagram and Twitter. And I also make TikToks and all other stuff. And it's so frustrating because like I feel only a fraction of my time goes to what I actually want to be, a freaking comic book artist. So yes, I fall under the blanket category of an artist, but the joy I get from drawing cool pictures for no reason or for fun and drawing comic panels are completely different. To be honest, I rarely have fun drawing anything if it's not related to making comics. <sighs> I'm sorry if I'm getting too heated, <laughs> but like I said, this is a rant. I'm going to try to calm down, but whatever. But you know, also that being said, this is just stuff that I need to get off my chest and you need to understand where I'm coming from. You know, I started posting my art because realistically, I wasn't going to get into Marvel or DC or Shonen Jump back then, but I still wanted some sort of audience to check out my comics. And yet now I'm at a point where most people don't even follow me for my comics anymore. They follow me for the cool art, for fan arts and for my personality on YouTube. You know, as someone who's true and true and introvert, Who'd rather lock himself in a room for three days straight alone than have a 10 minute conversation with another human? <laughs> you have to understand how me wanting to be an independent artist automatically requiring me to be an online personality can be annoying. And yeah, that's pretty much it for like the first reason why I hate being an artist in 2022. As for my second reason why I hate being an artist in 2022, I said it earlier and it ties into the first reason and it's cause it feels like I'm barely an artist. You know, since I was a kid, like my earliest memories, even before that, I'd been drawing. Like, I'm serious. Like, my mom told me stories how I used to draw Spider-Man when I was a kid. Like, that's way before my first memories ever. But yeah, essentially, art is something that is so deeply ingrained in me, Diddy Mark, or better yet, David, as a person, that I'm honestly surprised <laughs> I didn't come out the womb with a tattoo on my forehead that said, this motherfucker is an artist, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bad joke. So I say all this because at this point, to ensure success doing what I love, you know, art, success meaning monetarily because, you know, I got to feed myself and my family. But yeah, to ensure success as an independent artist in 2022, I basically got to be so many things that's not an artist. You know, I spent most of my life depressed because everyone in my life and even seemingly the whole world told me I couldn't be the one thing that I wanted to be, an artist. And then I turned 20. And then I took that leap of faith and started putting my work out there. And for a brief period at that start, life didn't seem so gray. And my frequent thoughts of deleting myself stopped. Cause then at that point, I started to imagine a life where I got to wake up every day and get to do what I love. And now, although mental health wise, I'm in a much better place and the bad thoughts don't happen as often, I'm doing seemingly everything except expressing myself through my art, you know? After I've written a video, recorded it, edited it for days on end, and then think of the perfect title and make the perfect thumbnail and then upload it. And even after that, I still draw a lot of soul sucking commissions and Instagram posts. And then finally, when I get to sit down and work on my comic, it's pretty much time to start working another video or TikTok or respond to comments or emails and repeat the entire cycle again. And it's like, bruh. At this point, I feel like I'm 40% a YouTuber who makes no money on here, by the way. I'm also 30% social media influencer, 20% freelance artist, and 10% comic artist. <sighs> and yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, whatever. That's pretty much my rant. That's where I'm at right now. Thank you all for watching this video, and I'm sorry if this video was bad or whatever, or wasn't informative. I just really wanted to get this stuff off my chest, you know? And since I have no IRL friends, you all are the only friends I can tell this stuff to. And it might sound like I hate what I do. <laughs> and I know I use the word hate a lot in this video too, but I'm not naive to know that that quote, choose a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life is bullshit. Cause in reality, whether you love it or not, work is work. So yes, I love doing YouTube. I love being a social media artist. 
and I love and I'm grateful for all the support I get through follows, comments, likes, donations, views, and etc. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. All I can do for now is keep working hard because the fact that I'm able to inspire or evoke any form of positive emotion or feeling in anyone at all is reward enough for me. So yeah, to go from the kid who didn't have any friends and who got bullied, made fun of, and never fit in to become someone who has thousands of supporters and hundreds of friends across multiple social media platforms, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be stupid to bitch about that. And yeah, so next time, my lovely viewers, I have been Didi. Don't forget to send positivity to someone today. Also, don't forget to leave a comment because I respond to any and all comments. Till next time, art nerds. Peace and love, baby.